Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Yeah. Right, so today uh, we are going to look at chapter 4. four. Yeah. We have done until chapter 3, the double entry. So what is chapter 4? Okay, turn your book to page 42. Page 42. All right. So this is uh, about the journal, the ledger, and the trial balance. Okay, remember uh, the accounting cycle. And uh, again, this is actually shown to you on page 43. So let's look at the uh, accounting cycle on page 43. Right. Illustration for one, yeah. So we have the source document. Remember, we have the source document. We start with source document. Mm -hmm. Then from the source document, uh, source document representing the transactions. Okay? So from the source document, it will be recorded in journals. And then in the ledger. Then after that, trial balance and so on. Right, the double entry that we talked in the previous meeting was actually uh, used when we show the transaction in the ledger. The ledger, you can see that the ledger, yeah. So double entry is applied when preparing the ledger. So what is ledger? What is ledger? A ledger is actually a book that contains various accounts. Okay, various accounts. Yeah. But before before we um, record in the ledger, it has to be in journal first. So let's look at the journal. Okay, journal is actually the first book. Okay. Journal is the first book that the um, accounting clerk, accounting officer, okay. accounting clerk or accounting officer is going to prepare yeah you going to prepare yeah so let's look at the journal okay page 43 yeah page 40, 43 you have yeah page 43 you have journal yeah you have journal now journal of Altogether, there are two main types of journal. Yeah? Two main types of journal. Uh, the first main type is general journal. The second type is specialized journal. Yeah? Specialized journal is divided into a few categories. So the main two types is one general journal, and the second main type is this special, uh, special, general. yeah, special journal, a specialized journal on page forty-five. Yeah, so this is actually the two main, the two main journals. Yeah, and as as I said just now, the specialized journal is divided again into several types. So what I did, the same, the same journal, the. Uh, and you, you just continue on page 46, you have the sales written and written in all written in words journal. And then followed by the purchase journal. That's three already. And then on page 47, purchase written and written upwards journal. And then you have the cash receipt journal on page 48. And also you have the cash payment journal. Yeah. So how many all together there? Six. six. Yeah, six. Yeah. And uh, Champo one of the general journal. Yeah. So all together we can say that yeah, there are seven types. Yeah. Uh, but the two main types to the difference is actually the general and the specialized journal. Right. So So here, um, we are going to look at the specialized journal first. 
ya yeah? uh, then only we will discuss about the general general journal so what is specialized journal okay in business in business uh we our our example would be business of uh, we confine the business is actually the trading business eh? trading and say and apa ni uh trading consumers of consumer lah yeah right so uh, this company they will manufacture the goods and product and that sorry and then they sell the products or we have a situation that buy the products and then sell the products okay so buy sell buy and then maybe do the packaging and then after that sell or it could be that just buy and then after that immediately sell without do anything to the product yeah so there are a few categories here but what we are interested is actually lebih kepada uh, buy and then sell buy sell buy sell doing nothing to the products yeah kalau ada pun kita silent about that yeah because what what we are interested is how do you consider for sale and how do you consider for the purchases so you can see that in this type of company they buy buy sell sell buy sell buy sell buy sell so this is actually uh there will be a lot of transaction related to buying and selling correct hmm. Hmm. so therefore to make it easier to do the recording of the transaction then that's why we have a special book special book for sale and special book for buying buying here we say purchase lah purchase eh? purchase journal so so when the company buy the goods buy anytime uh, every time that they buy they will record in the purchase journal okay purchase journal but uh it's only on credit yeah credit purchases what about cash purchase cash purchase will be recorded in the cash payment journal that's on page 48 can you see that page 46 purchase journal page 48 cash payment journal yeah so here so here so here you can see that so here you can see that uh so every uh assalamualaikum everybody okay we are discussing we are discussing on the journal and this is chapter four and we are now on page 46 46 and 48 yeah, page 46 and page 48 yeah all right so here you can see that uh when the business and eh, the company or you put the uh, you yourself to be the the, uh, the one in business so you will buy you can buy on credit or you can buy in cash yeah so when you buy purchase the goods on credit on credit yeah then it will go to purchase journal right now yeah right now Tapi dekat situ pun, on page 46 pun, the first sentence. Purchase journal is used to record inventory purchase on credit. Uh, underline the word purchase on credit. Yeah. And then, uh, the cash payment journal, uh, this is where, because when we buy in cash, then cannot go into purchase journal. So, it has to go to the cash payment journal. So, cash payment journal is about when the company make payment so every time the company make payment or when you the business make payment that means cash or the money from the bank will go out from the business then it will be uh, recorded in the cash payment journal clear everybody hmm. so we are discussing about journals now yeah Right, so that is for the purchase journal and the cash payment journal. Yep. Now, what about the sales? Similarly, sale, we can sell the products 
in cash or you can sell that on credit and in business usually it will be on credit lah yeah big business we are talking about big business it will be on credit basis yeah and the later they are going to get the payment yeah the business will get the payment from the customer so sales journal is on page 45 okay so let's read the first sentence that the sales journal is used to record transactions that involve sales on credit okay only on credit underline the term on credit yeah and what about if we sell to the customers in cash so when we sell in cash what does it mean we are going to get the we are going to get the payment immediately so the payment that means receipt so the receipt it has to be recorded in the cash cash receipt you know right correct on page 48 yeah page 48 oh. on page 48 and not only that lah the cash receipt journal is every time the company get payment from the whoever then it will be recorded in the cash receipt it's journal. It's journal. Yeah. so for example like the company sell on credit so it will be recorded in the sales Jenna. Betul tak? And then later the company get payment, betul tak? Uh -huh. so and then, then on a later date, then when receive the payment at a later date, that too will be included in the cash receipt Jenna. Uh, so cash receipt Jenna is going to be recorded according to the date lah that the company receive money from uh -huh. whoever going to uh, pay the company. Yeah? Clear, yeah? Mm -mm. So the cash payment journal pula, whenever the company or you, the business, make payment, then you are going to record that in the cash payment journal. So it doesn't matter by check or cash lah? Doesn't matter. Tapi nanti kita akan cakap lah. Yeah? Kita akan cakap itu. Tapi whatever payment receive, cash receipt journal, payment made, Cash payment journal. All right, everybody. Hmm. Okay, so here, um, let's look at the format. Yes, before I talk about the uh, sales written, because how many more that we have? Another two more lah for specialized journal, kan? The sales written journal or the written inward journal and then the purchase written or the written hours journal. Before we discuss that, let's look at the format of the sales journal. So you can see that the format, yes, how many columns there? One, two, three, four, five. Five columns, right? And then at the top there, we have the date, the customer's name. The particulars too is actually the customer's name lah because why? Because this is sales journal, betul tak? Oh. So the sales journal, it will be that, you know, the name of the customer lah. And invoice number, the third column, invoice number. Why invoice? Because we sell on credit. So we need to trace the customer by invoice number. And invoice number ni, it will be, you know, in sequ sequential order. So when you sell to customer on credit, invoice, there will be number kan, the pre-printed number kan at the top, right? Usually, usually right hand corner lah. Ataupun kadang-kadang sometime on the left hand side corner at the top, yeah? So that is actually for the company to record and to, to, to trace the invoices. The invoices so that, so that uh, they can actually monitor the, they can monitor the uh, credit. Yeah, the credit sale to the customer. Reference, uh, reference, I, I explain to you later. And then the amount lah, and the amount. So the amount is, the amount is whatever lah on the invoice. So it will be recorded there, yeah. So, 
this is sail, betul tak? Sail. Sail is what? What type of class is this? Ingat tak? Uh, classification. Classification is covered uh, chapter what? Revenue, correct ya Hanif? Chapter apa tu? What chapter is that? Chapter, chapter. I think I I I think that's uh, stated at the end. Yeah, at the. Uh, I mean, to, uh, not in the earlier chapter. Patutnya in the earlier chapter. I think uh, maybe chapter ten go. Maybe in chapter ten. Yeah, classification. So remember classification, we have five classification, yeah? So maybe you have to note somewhere. Oh, uh, dekat depan-depan tu lah, yeah? Note dekat uh, maybe chapter two, yeah? Chapter two. You have so the first class, asset. Second class, liability. Opposite the asset is liability, yeah? Note that down, yeah? Tulis, yeah? Dekat atas chapter two tu senang. Uh, okay, maybe you can look at page 20 lah. Tapi, but at the same time, write that, you know, somewhere uh, uh, in chap at, at the beginning of chapter 2, yeah. So, there are five classes and you can refer this to page 20. So, the first one is asset, opposite the asset, second class, liability, and then only security, third, and then we have revenues, and then we have expenses. So these are the five classes. Can get the five classes of the trans uh, transaction. So write that down, please. Eh? So back to the late uh, journal just now. The things journal on page five. Yeah. So sales journal or sales, this is the revenue class. Kalau revenue, double entry, which one is it? Uh, debit balance or credit balance? Revenue, debit balance or credit balance? Betul ya, correct ya, Amino Day, it is the credit balance. Okay, I want you to go to page 31. Go to page 31. Can you see that um, at the top of that page, revenue account. Can you see double entry rule for revenue? Yep. Uh, and uh, beside that, we have the, we have the, apa ni, um, the, uh, the information about the double entry, yeah. So when we, when the business has revenue increase, then that is going to be credit. Can you see the credit increase? Credit, yeah. In general, therefore, we say that revenue or sales has a credit balance. Yeah, has a credit balance. Yeah. Why there is a decrease there? A de decrease here if let's say, a decrease if let's say, when we sell, the customer return back. The customer return back the goods to us. So that's why revenue decrease, correct? When we sell, revenue go up, increase. But when the customer return back, maybe, maybe the product that we so to the customer has been damaged. So customer receive damage goods. So what they do, they will return back to us. Okay. And here assume that there is uh issue mm -hmm. about returning apa policy about returning the goods I'm going to be discussed here lah. All everything kita katakan kita terima je lah. Yeah, dalam accounting kita kata okay, policy boleh terima. 
So that's why revenue decreased because now the customer return back. So that means we lost revenue there, right? Uh -huh. Because because we got back our goods, yeah. So that's why it's been reduced, yeah. So, but generally we say that the revenue has a credit balance. Clear? You have to understand that. Can you faham it? Opposite to revenue is what? Expenses. Expense kan? Expense relate to purchases pula. So purchases, purchases journal just now. Um, purchase station for the for 46, right? Um, so for the purchases journal, okay, sell the goods, yes, yeah, sell, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, purchase that means we buy, okay, we buy. So, and then we are going to go pay. So purchases is an expense. So color purchases is what? Uh, debit. Help. Purchases has a debit balance. Uh, opposite to sale has a debit balance. Yeah? So it's going to be opposite to the revenue. Okay. So let's go back to the sales journal and purchase journal on page 45 and page 46. Yes. So you can see that uh, the format for the sales journal and purchase journal, they are the same, correct? Uh -uh. Cuma the thing is the sales journal, this is actually whatever the total, can you see sales journal page 45 there? The last, the last item that I have showed to you that is we have the total, correct? Total, that means the total amount, the total of the amount lah. You are going to fill up the amount column too. Amount column, fill up and then you are going to get the total figure, correct? So the total figure, uh, the total figure, it will be post to receivable control account uh, debit and the sales account credit. Faham ke tak tu? Tu saya juga ni nak explain ni. Saya order something Wacom but it has not, I have not received that yet. Yeah? Hmm, I do not have my pencil here. Hmm, saya ambil pencil sekejap ni tu dulu. Okay. Sekejap. Okay, boleh nampak tak buku ni? <laughs> Kelihatan tak? Nampak. Nampak? Eh tak jelas. Nampak, nampak. Itulah tak berapa jelas kan? Oh. Saya pun nampak, nampak macam blur sikit saya punya. Oh. Tapi tak tahu lah you all nampak, nampak jelas ke tak. Ini nampak. Revenue. Tak apa, tak apa. Tak apa. Uh, tapi you, you punya buku kosong kan? Tapi ni saya baru add dekat sini. Ini nampak terbalik ke apa? Nampak, 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 nampak betul. Nampak betul lah, bukan terbalik eh. Tak. Okay, right. Um, okay, so yang ni tak apa, saya tulis je ni. Uh, you nampaklah bermakna ada something yang saya tulis ya. Okay, dekat atas ni saya tulis nama Ahmad. Dekat bawah ni saya tulis nama Musa. Lepas tu dekat jumlah dekat sini ada satu ribu saya tulis, bawah ni dua ratus. So, this one jumlah dia lah, satu ribu dua ratus. Yeah. So, 
Kalau tak nampak tak apalah imagine or maybe you can write that in your book ya. Yeah. So you can see here so the total tu adalah this total lah. Ya. Yeah. Yang kolam ni. Ya. Yeah. Total. So 1200 ya. Yeah. Okay, 1,200 total. So, this one here, you can see that ini revenue ni saya cakap apa? What, what balance is this? This is credit balance. Betul tak? Sale is credit balance, eh? Kan? Sale hmm. is revenue kan? It's a credit balance lah. Ya? Yeah? Hmm. Faham eh? Okay? Right. So, So, um, okay. Okay. Saya tukarlah nama, um, nama, nama, nama tadi, uh, Lokman. Pilih Lokman bukan Ahmad ya Lokman Jumlah dia seratus ribu katakan Ya seratus ribu So boleh nampak ya So yang ni seratus ribu Okay Okay, yang atas ni nama dia Lokman, jual kepada Lokman and this one is 100,000 and then this one uh, sales to Musa, Musa uh, 20,000. So, the total is going to be 120,000, yeah. So, this is uh, Lokman. Who is Lokman? Debtor, betul tak? Debtor. Ataupun kalau in terms of writing in the ledger, In the book, we say accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. So you can see at the bottom here, ada receivable, receivable. Tapi receivable control lah ya. Tapi Lokman is account receivable. Ya, yeah, clear ya yeah, everybody? Faham tak ni? Yang, ni? yang ni very important juga ni ya. Okay, right. So here, sale is uh, credit balance ya. Yeah? Credit balance. Yeah, credit balance. So, 100,000 here, maybe you would like to write that. CR. CR. Okay. Saya so, tak, tak tahulah nampak ke tak. CR, saya tulis CR here. Credit balance. Hmm. This one is credit balance. This one is credit total lah. Credit balance total. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. So, what is the implication of this? Okay, from here, this is what? from the ledger, oh, sorry, from the journal. So what do you have to do according to the accounting cycle? Tengok accounting cycle on page 43. 43. It will be posted to ledger, correct? Kan? From journal, it will go to ledger. Kan? Okay. Thank you, ya, Hanif. You respond to that. So what does it mean? It means that from this journal, format journal, it will be posted to ledger. Posted to ledger. Let's look at ledger. Ledger, ledger is on page 50. 50. And on page 51, page 51. Yeah. Tadi sales journal. So, When we are going to post to ledger, we are going to post to the sales ledger pula. Sales journal to sales ledger. Faham eh? Sales journal to sales ledger. So page 51, can you see here? Sales ledger. Sales ledger. And the sales ledger contain account siapa? Salah satu account adalah account Lokman tadi lah. Kau Lokman. And you, you can see Lokman here ada sale yang kita jual kepada Lokman 100,000. Kan? 
100,000. Debit or credit? Debit or credit? Tengok ni, apa tu dia tulis atas tu? DR ke CR? DR, debit. Debit, ya? Yeah? Debit. So, this is debit. Ah, Then, yang mana credit ni? So, which one is credit? Credit is actually to the sales account. Sales account. Sales account, saya tak ada tulis ini. Tak ada tulis sales account. Hmm, tak ada tulis sales account. Okay. So, saya tambah sini sikit. So, which one is credit? The credit has to go to the sales account. Nampak ke ni? Saya tak, tak tahulah nampak ke tak. Sales account. Ni saya conteng, baru conteng. Tak clear. Okay, this one is sales sales account. Dia, dia format dia sama. Format dia sama macam ni. Ini page 51. Putri. Sorry, ya. Putri, you just join. Okay, Putri page 51. So, ni format sales, format sales ledger. Format sales ledger, perhatikan. Is it the same as general? It's not the same because why kita ada the debit column dengan kita ada the credit column. So, yang untuk lockman tadi from sales journal tadi, lockman tadi kan. So, it's, it's going to be posted to the sales ledger here and it's going to be debited. It's going to be debited here. So kalau kita nak debited debit, kita ada 100,000. Yeah? And remember every transaction there will be two entries, double entry. So which one is another entry? Ha, ini yang saya tulis ni dekat sini, bawah ni sales account. Kolom kita follow lagi kolom, cuma saya tak tulis kolom. Tapi after the date, Lepas sini ada date. Lepas tu saya akan tulis nama Lokman. Saya akan tulis nama Lokman. Then, then the balance 100,000. Dekat mana ni? Nak tulis debit ke credit? Credit lah. Credit ya. Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Thank you ya. Yeah? Uh, yeah, Ili and so on. So you can see here the double entry one debit. Credit. Debit credit. So kalau what about um, what about the other, other items here? The other items? Sebab ni sales. Nampak ni? Ni sales kan? Dia tulis sales ni kan? On this page. Sales. So that means you have to open sales account. Sales. Jadi sebab tu here it's going to be sales account. Nah. Alright? Clear? Hmm. So I just wanted to show that one. The rest too, I will show to you later. I'll explain to you later. Alright. So, so the general just now, the sales general, page 40, page 45. Okay, so you have the Lokman, the Lokman, the Lokman, 100,000. So this 100,000, it will go to Lokman's account and then yeah, because this is sales journal, then the, the double entry, to complete the double entry, it has to go to the sales account which we opened just now and that's going to be credited. So that's why dekat sini saya tulis credit because this is actually for the, this is for the uh, sales account in the sales account because this is sales journal, it will go to the sales account. So the sales account will be credited. Okay. Okay, what about the total figure? 120,000 here. 120,000 here. The 120,000 is actually, okay, dekat sini dia tulis apa? Receivable control account. 
receivable. That means in the ledger, you are going to have another account, the receivable control account. But the receivable control account, you are going to write the total and that receivable control, control, it means that ini adalah kawalan. Right? Account kawalan. To check whether what you have recorded here, 100,000 plus 20,000, 120. So if you go to Lokman account, you can tengok Lokman account will be 100,000. And then at the same time, you have to open Musa punya account. Tapi Musa tak adalah dalam sini eh. So Musa account, you check dalam Musa account ada credit balance 20,000. So kalau you campur account Musa dengan account Lokman, dia akan jadi berapa? 120,000. Yeah, so you check that with the control account tadi. So control account pilih 120 and then when you also added 100 to 20, dapat 120 then that's balance. That's okay. So so the con receivable control account is actually account kawalan. Yeah? Just to check that whether the bookkeeper here uh, does not make mistake. Yeah? If the bookkeeper make mistake then that can be easily traced through the receivable control account. Clear yeah? Right, so back to the format here. Back to the format. We have date, particulars or the customer name, invoice, reference, amount. Okay, reference to just signal lah. Reference me for audit purposes. Okay, just ignore that. Okay. And then uh, the purchase journal, page 47, the same. Boleh tak? Cuma the particulars is for what? Particulars is for the supplier's name pula lah. Dia terbalik lah. So kalau tadi, the sales journal, credit balance, yeah? Kalau purchases pula, purchases journal or the purchase journal is going to be debit lah. Yeah, debit. So, you everybody? Alright. Boleh faham ke tak tu? Okay. Alright. Now, um, what about the cash payment journal dengan cash receipt journal? Look at the format. Format dia. Yeah? Format dia, they are both the same, similar. Except apa yang different? Differentnya, differentnya is what? There is a column there, satu. For cash receipt journal, we have discount allowed. And for cash payment journal, we have discount receipt. Okay. And this format, is it the same as for the purchase journal and sales journal? Different, right? Different. Purchase and purchase journal and sales journal both have same format. Tapi kalau cash receipt journal and cash payment journal, the format is different because the amount, can you see the amount too? The amount is broken into two columns. One is for the cash column and the other one is for the bank column. Somebody asked me, what about receipt check? So, kalau receive check, it means it has to go to bank column. You are going to write underneath the bank column. But if receive, but if receive, uh, receive um, cash, hard cash, it will go under the cash column. Like once for cash payment journal, if the business or you make payment by check, you have to record that under bank column. If you pay by cash, hard cash, then it's going to go under the cash column. Clear everybody? Is that okay? Now, uh, here you have the discount column, uh, discount allowed and discount receive. Now, when you sell to customer, sell, you and uh, when you sell, or a certain amount, then you are going to what? You are going to, you are going to, uh, in order to, this one is selling on credit, yeah? Remember, sell, selling on credit. So when you sell on credit, that means the customer is going to pay later. But sometimes you allow them to pay earlier. You give them, if let's say, uh, pay within 10 days, get 1% discount. Or pay, uh, within seven days, get certain certain discount. Okay, different business. 
different different uh, customer maybe you give different discount yeah depending on you lah your, your business yeah so when you give the discount the payment that you get from the customer your customer credit customer will be less lah betul tak yeah you get less payment from the customer because why because you give the discount so if let's say you sell uh, 2000 worth to your customer and you give discount to customer uh, 50 ringgit okay, one, one, uh, you sell 2000 and then you give 50 50 ringgit discount because they pay they pay you earlier so 2000 minus uh, 2000 minus 50 jadi berapa 1950 kan macam eh ha tu tu nampak macam macam tahun tu ya <laughs> 1950 satu sembilan lima kosong lah kan fifty ringgit two thousand minus fifty one thousand zero ha ini one thousand nine hundred and fifty yeah so kalau tak sure use your calculator tau simply kita boleh buat mistake kan kita tak perasan tu faham tak ini and the rest so don't worry do not be shy to use your calculator that's why you need to have your calculator to be sure. Ambil aja 2000 minus 50. Uh, so you get lah, yeah. So do not be shy, yeah. Use your calculator. That's why you need to have your calculator, yeah. So kalau you tulis 100 and 1985, terus salah lah. Saya tak, saya tak fikir you salah kira. Tak, saya fikir you bagi fikir yang salah, so salah. Itu je. Kalau dalam examination. Is that clear? Faham eh? Okay. So make sure that use your calculator. Alright. So jadi tapi kita jual to look uh, to somebody just now. How much is it? 2,000. Betul tak? Tapi dia bayar 1,950. So tak cukup. See? So, tak cukup because 50. 50 to 50. That's why you have to record in the discount allowed column. So under the discount allowed column, you have that 50 and then un, uh, okay how the customer pay cash kalau cash 1950 is under cash kalau dia bayar dengan check it's going to be under bank is that clear uh, so, so you can see that let's say pay by cash sorry lah tak nampak tapi at least you know lah where I'm point, pointing ya yeah. so alam Mm -hmm. ah, payah susah betul Okay can you see under the discount column Discount allowed column ah, So sini saya tulis 50 Then cash saya tulis 1950 Because receive let's say hard cash lah So total is going to be 2000 So what happened to account customer tadi Settle Tak ada dah yeah. So this one here Yang ni dia nak pergi mana ni So yang ni Dia akan pergi kepada account customer lah, account customer. Let's say this one is Musa. Musa yang bayar. Musa, Musa tadi beli on credit kan? So dia bayar. So, so yang ni tulis apa? Tulis Musa lah. Tulis Musa. Date, bila date Musa bayar. So, so bila kita ada Musa sini, then kita go to Musa account. Musa account tu dekat mana? Dekat ledger. So dekat ledger, then Ledger, Musa, debit or credit? Musa is accounts receivable kan? Musa is account receivable kan? So Musa sepatutnya ada debit balance tapi sekarang Musa dah bayar. Credit. Credit, credit lah. So dalam Musa account credit. Debit would be cash account lah. Cash account. Cash account ni cash. Cash account. Cash account dekat mana? Dekat Ledger juga. Cash account dekat ledger. So, debit. So, this one is going to be debit to cash account. And to Musa account is going to be credit. So, this one ni bermakna dia akan pergi kedua. Satu, debit, cash, credit, Musa. Clear everybody? So, that is the cash payment dan cash receipt journal. What about the cash payment journal? Opposite lah sekarang. Ya, yeah, semuanya terbalik lah. Ya. Yeah. So, 
so if let's say I write Musa here, this one go to the cash account, and this one go to the Musa um, account credit debit. Okay, right. Tapi lah tak ada tunjuk lah, tak nampak juga. Okay, right. So, what about the cash payment channel? Format dia sama. Cuma sekarang is what? Is for the supplier. So, supplier give you cash discount. If let's say you get, uh, you buy, and then you you have money you wanted to pay earlier, then the supplier may give you discount. So, that will be under the discount receive column. The concept sama lah. The total discount dengan apa yang you bayar has to be the total amount that that you are going to settle. Tapi kalau dia amount dia tak cukup. Tapi can you believe from the supplier uh, um, katakan you believe from the supplier RM5,000. RM5,000. Okay, RM5,000. And you uh, beli on credit. You buy on credit. And then the custom, the 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 supplier just now give hundred ringgit discount. So under the discount receive, you are going to write hundred because you are now making the payment. Yeah, after certain day, yeah, and you pay within the time that the supplier allow you to get or to claim the discount, and you pay by check now. Yeah, so five thousand dollar, one hundred will give you how much is it? 4,900. 4,900 will be under the bank column because you paid by check and 100 will be under the discount receipt. Okay, everybody. Now, why I discuss it? Because journal is us on you. You are required to prepare the journal. Yeah, and you also sometimes be required to prepare the ledger. Tapi ledger dia tak berapa sangat. Journal, yes. Okay. So you have to know how to write the journal. Okay, what about the, we, uh, remember, yeah? Re reference is actually only for what? For audit purposes. So just ignore. But are you going to record that? Uh, I mean, the format tu, are you going to have the reference column? It's up to you lah. Eh. Kalau you nak ada pun boleh, buat kosongkan. Kalau tak ada pun biarkan. Eh. But this is actually just an example. In in companies, the format can be different eh, juga. Eh. Eh, the format can be different. It depends on the business. Eh. Sometimes they have uh, different format than this. Eh. And that, there is no issue of different format. Eh. The important thing is actually to record uh, about what kind of transaction that is and the amount. Okay, next we are going to move on to sales return and the return inwards or return inwards journal and then purchase return or return outwards journal. So what is sales return? Say, sales. B, business, sell, sales. And then the customer that received just now, return. So it's the sale, return. Clear everybody? Sale, return back to us. So that is what we say, return. So sale, the goods, and now the goods coming back to us, in, coming back to us, in. So that's why we have the sales return or return inwards wow. journal. Opposite to that, purchase, we, okay, we buy, and then we return back, return outwards, or purchase, wow. Clear yet, everybody? And look at the format. Is it the same? Yes, the format, the columns, exactly the same. What is different? The title is different. For the sales return, we have the customer's name. Yeah? In particular, still, but that is actually to mention to you that the punya format is the date, particular, credit, no, reference amount. Yeah? Ataupun note number. Yeah? Date, Particulars, note number, reference amount. So, kalau purchase pula, date, particulars, note number, reference amount. Sama ke tak tahu? Is it the same? Yeah. Dia, dia sebenarnya tak ada, dia sebenarnya tak ada customer nama. 
dan dia juga tak ada supply is name dan dia ada cuma note number saja note number so kalau you buang ni customer name you buang credit delete credit delete customer name and then the, dalam purchase return journal delete supplier name delete the debit is it exactly the same yes or no hmm is it different or the same sama je kan hmm Okay, thank you ya. Yeah. Hanif, Ili, Syuhada. So, they are actually exactly the same. Sebab mana, the format is the same cuma, I mean, the journal, when the company has this journal, the format are exactly the same but they just simply like that. Okay, oh, this is for the sales return. This is for the engine return. But actually, the format is the same. Okay, cuma to differentiate Uh, uh, apa tu Ni boleh tak uh, uh, Aida uh, Aida you you Offkan the mic please okay. Aida uh, Offkan the mic Because uh, it will be disturbing The others yeah? Alright, Unless you have something to say Then only you on the mic yeah, The microphone You know how to disable the microphone Just click dekat yang dekat uh, you, you see my face or what? Do you see my face? You see my face kan? Uh, you just click je dekat bawah tu And then you can, you can see that microphone Sebelah telefon tu Sebelah telefon belah kiri Microphone Ya yeah. Sebelah kanan tu is the video The camera Okay you just You dah You offkan the camera kan uh, So On the other opposite side, then you off the mic. Yeah, thank you. All right, so here, back to the format here, you can see that, uh, you can see that uh, they are actually exactly the same, similar. It's just that you label, identify, okay, this is the sales return journal, and the other one is the purchase return. So the sales return is to record the customer's name who return back the goods to the business lah to you. And the purchase return is the book that you open uh, when you the business, you the business, return back to the supplier. And you're going to write the supplier's name. Yeah. So and so this is actually um, Uh, the format for the sales and the purchase journal is also the same yeah yang dua ni lah because if you delete sales journal page 45 you delete the customer name and then on page 47 the purchase journal you delete the supplier's name that's that is going to be the same betul tak kan sama yang dekat bawah tu post to purchase account debit and payment control account for purchase journal and then on the sales journal post to receivable control account debit and sales account credit yang tu tak ada itu nok saya sahaja itu tak ada dia cuma ada total aja dekat situ total pun you yang tulis so it's not that they are exactly the same yes they are exactly the same alright so purchase journal sales journal format exactly the same. Sales return journal, purchase return journal, also they are the same. Yeah. But you can see there is a similarity between sales journal, sales return journal, purchase journal and purchase return journal. Sama kan, cuma yang 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 purchase journal, sales journal ada invoice number. Tapi kalau sales return and purchase return journal, dia buat note number. Note number tu macam invoice number lah. Kan dekat dokumen, kan dia ada nombor tu. Ha, so, nombor tu lah sebenarnya. So, kalau di invoice, invoice number. Kalau dia adalah di return, dia ada number, note number tu. Credit credit note number or uh, apa ni uh, purchase 
purchase, uh, purchase um, sorry, uh, ada ada debit note number ataupun ada credit note number. Yeah. Hmm. And remember, bila customer tu is credit note number. Kalau the supplier purchase return, dia debit note number. Jangan jangan salah ya. Remember, purchase return, debit note number. Sales return, credit note number. Ha, so, kena faham yang tu. Kena relate ya. Sebab soalan akan tanya. Explain, what is debit note number? What is credit note number? Ha, you, so, you have to associate with the return lah. But what kind of return? Purchase return or sales return. Okay. Right. Uh, so these are what? These are the journals. Yeah, the journals. So you can see that the format are about the same. Yeah, about the same. And we only have one column for amount. Except for the cash receipt journal and cash payment journal. Where we have two columns for the amount. Or three columns left for the amount. One is for the discount column. The other one is for the cash column and bank column. So we have three columns for the amount. But for the other journals, only one column for the amount. Okay, must you memorize these columns? The answer is yes. <coughs> you have to memorize the column. Right? You have to memorize the columns. You have to memorize the the name of the columns. Kenapa? Sebab, as I, I told you earlier, there will be question on journal. Compulsory question on journal. Yeah? So journal is actually very basic. Yeah? Very basic. Okay, then let's move on to the general journal. General journal. What is general journal? Okay, remember specialized journal. Sales journal is all for the credit sales. Purchase journal for only transaction that relate to credit purchases. Return. Untuk return aja lah. Ya, yeah. cash receipt jenar untuk semua duit yang diterima. Apa-apa duit lah yang diterima is cash receipt jenar. Cash payment pula, apa-apa duit yang dibayar. Even to cleaner, bayar kepada cleaner, yes. Bayar bayar supplier, yes. Bay beli apa? Beli, beli katakan komputer, yes. Sebab duit keluar kan. Anything duit keluar is going to be in the cash payment jenar. Right. So, what is the general journal for? The yeah, general journal is where to record transaction other than the transaction that we record in the in the specialized journal. So, katakan kita ada satu transaction. Dia bukan melibatkan sale, dia bukan melibatkan purchase, order return, tak. So, kita nak record dekat mana? For example, bayar, bayar bill, electricity bill. Nak letak dekat mana? Bayar electricity bill. Nak letak dekat mana tu? It has to go to purchase, it has to go to general general lah. Okay. Yeah. It has to go to general journal. Or it could be that nak bayar, nak bayar asset. Okay, nak bayar asset. Tadi saya kata komputer kan, beli komputer. Beli komputer, asset. Asset bukan untuk jual. Beli untuk guna. Asset. So, where to record? Beli, okay, it's not going to be in the purchase journal, no, it has to go to the general journal. 
purchase is only buy on credit and for business beli stock beli inventory that is purchase jenna sales jenna sell on credit tapi sell inventory ya yeah. so kalau company beli other than inventory it will be recorded in the general journal clear everybody hmm. so example here example here on page uh, 49 example uh, 42 ya yeah, 40 sampai dia tu syada aku yang tanya ya dia ada mistake dekat situ ya uh, number 7 page 40 uh, page 49 example 42 number 7 and number 8 ya yeah. tak ada amount so for number 7 the amount is 300 lah ya yeah. and then for number 8 the amount is 500 maybe you would like to record that eh? so saya tertinggal amount dia yeah. Alright, so in this in this uh, example, uh, you have to prepare the special journal and you have to prepare the general journal. In examination, tak ada, dia akan tanya satu je, but that usually will be the special journal, not the general journal. Yeah. Right, so here, So if you are going to prepare the, uh, this one is actually, the example given here is only related to buying, buying and selling on credit. Yeah, buying inventory and selling on credit. Itu je example, itu je dia punya uh, transaction. Dia tak ada melibatkan the other types of transaction. So you can see that for transaction number one until number five so semuanya about purchases 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 so you can see that let's look at the uh, let's look at the journal dulu on page 50 so can you see that page 50 so just record the purchase purchases saja lah ya yeah? and you can see that the de okay particular study dekat sini saya tulis detail so detail pun boleh particulars pun boleh so that's why saya macam use this interchangeably yeah so you can see that nama mm stationery abc who are these people supplier lah supplier ada tak saya tulis dalam bracket dekat atas detail tu supplier's name tak ada kan sales journal pula yeah zaini zaini fatin zaini so who are these people customer customer that you the business sell them on credit sell on credit detail tak ada kan satu lagi customer so you can see that the purchase journal format the sales journal format they are the same betul tak but the detail tu atas tu suppliers suppliers name bawah tu customers name or account receivables yeah clear ya everybody and and the total total tu dekat bawah tu purchase uh, on, on page 50 page 50 uh, purchase journal at the bottom i have purchases account so this is actually the total the total how much is it 10700 and this total is actually to the purchase account purchase account apa purchase control account maybe you would like to write that down yeah purchase control account ya yeah. ataupun apa tu accounts um, purchase control account purchase control account pun boleh ataupun accounts dia bergantung bergantung juga ni ya yeah. dia, dia bergantung kalau you nak in total pun boleh um, Sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, the total ten thousand seven hundred. One is to the purchase purchase account lah, purchase account. Sorry ya, yeah, purchase account. And and purchase account is debit. Satu lagi, you have to add accounts payable control. Yeah. 
accounts payable control. Okay, accounts payable control. So accounts payable control in bracket credit. How much is it? Same amount. So you got purchase account debit slash accounts payable control credit. And the, and the total is 10,700. So double entry balance, right? One to the purchase account, then the other one to the accounts payable control account. Yeah. That, okay. Tapi accounts payable control is the control account. The individual account that you have to credit, MM, stationary, credit, yeah, credit balance. ABC, credit balance. Janjung, credit balance. Wholesale Andi, credit balance. Dollarist wholesale account also credit balance. Okay, and for the sales statement, some of lah the explanation. Cuma is opposite lah now is same. Okay, everybody. And then what about the general journal? If let's say you are asked to prepare the general journal, so the general journal immediately remember general journal. The format is not the same as the specific journal or specialized journal so general journal okay turn to page 43 illustration for two yeah so at the bottom we have this format yeah and this format i think you are familiar because yang ni saya dah i've shown to you juga kan in the in the class yeah the class that we had yeah so you can see that the format is not the same as journal the way is recorded also not the same as journal although that we have the columns how many columns are there lima column so lebih kurang sama kalau dia dengan sales journal dengan purchase journal kan sama kan kolom even the return pun sama ada berapa kolom lima kolom juga so semua journal ada lima kolom kecuali kecuali the cash receipt journal and the cash payment journal how many columns Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Hmm. So kita ada enam kolom. Okay. Enam kolom. Sebab apa? Uh, yang ni lain sikit because we have the discount allowed, we have the cash Amount tu kita ada tiga kolom. The discount allowed, cash kolom and bank kolom. But kita uh, reference ada um, kita ada tak note kan yang sebelum ni kita ada debit note, call, uh, debit note, credit note ataupun invoice number. Tapi dalam cash receipt and the cash payment channel, do we have that number? Tak adalah sebab dia bagi cash. Tak ada kan? Ha, so tak adalah. Yeah. Tapi what if let's say, kalau company tu, kalau you lah, you nak juga ada column number. Nah, column yang untuk record number. Boleh juga. Yeah, sebab you nak tengok. Orang ni bayar untuk invoice yang mana. So you record lah invoice number. So boleh juga. Ya yeah, boleh juga. But importantly, importantly here we have three columns for the figure, for the amount. Ya yeah, so that makes it different. Okay what about the general journal? Kita ada lima kolom juga. Tapi kolom dia kita yang pentingnya kita ada the two column for the amount. One is debit. One is credit. Yeah, one is debit. One is credit. So itu yang berbeza. Yeah. Uh, and then the debit column 
is actually to record the account which the account is going to be debited and the credit column is to record the account that in which uh, the that account is going to be credited so this is actually following the double entry one debit one credit okay so back to page 49 back to page 49 we have the uh, if let's say you're going to record that in general journal so you can see that for every transaction there kita ada one debit one credit one debit one credit and can you see the amount sama kan semua for every transaction same amount but one debit one credit one debit one credit and the accounts depends lah what this account so you can see that from one until five semuanya purchases so it has to be purchases lah debit purchases debit mm stationary credit and then purchase for abc tu purchase debit abc credit dan janju purchase debit janju credit etc sales sama juga ya yeah? so that is for the journal ya yeah? so journal okay now let's look at the uh, ledger yeah? ledger so ledger remember the cycle source document cycle page 43 yeah? page 43 cycle we have the source document we have the journals and then we have the ledger so from the journal to ledger the term that usually used is posting posting from journal to ledger transfer lah posting tu maknanya dia transfer ya yeah, transfer dari buku journal ke buku ledger kita nak transfer sekarang daripada the, the records in the journal kita nak transfer to ledger but the term yang biasa guna in accounting is posting eh, rather than transfer right so page 50 50 at the bottom ledger page 51 example All right, so here, okay, Sal Hazrina, yeah, baru masuk, sayang, you dah, kita dah habis, dah jenal, yeah. Okay, now the ledger, page 50, yeah, Sal Hazrina, page 50, 51, the ledger. So the ledger, you can see that, macam Lokman account tu, yeah, Lokman. Can you see ada kolom apa? Ada debit kolom, ada credit kolom. Tapi satu lagi kolom uh, you have to add which is the balance kolom. Uh, inilah yang kita kata three kolom ledger. Three kolom ledger. Three kolom ledger. Ledger, what is ledger? Ledger is for accounts. So one kolom for the debit second column for the credit and the third column is to record the balance so three column ledger and this is actually the new format those who had learned accounting before you might be familiar with accounts which is in the shape of t or you say t account so in this syllabus we no longer use t account we cannot use t account now because it has been replaced by this type of ledger three column ledger and this three column ledger is used because to be consistent with how it's going to be recorded in the system okay so the system the computer system is going to generate columns they cannot have the t account yeah computer dia tak boleh record t dia boleh record column so that's why it's going to be shown like this yeah so kalau nak ingat format for the ledger 
relate that to the format of the bank statement have you received bank statement do you have bank statement uh, have you seen bank statement i'm sure you have seen bank statement lah, because you have accounts right you have uh, accounts at bank so every month the bank will give you the bank statement betul tak kan the bank will give you the bank statement ada tak bank yang tak bagi bank statement tak ada dia kena bagi because this is for you to check your balance tak ada aida tak ada bank statement you tak ada account dekat bank kalau dulu kita pakai buku kan kita pakai buku sekarang ni tak tahu lah you sempat ke tak dengan buku tu je ha, tapi now setiap bank dia sebenarnya akan bagi the bank statement so bermakna bila ada account dekat bank then you you will get the bank statement kan Aida kan Right, so, so format bank statement tu macam mana? Ada date, betul tak? Lepas tu ada explanation about the transaction. So, particulars tu the transaction lah, ya. Yeah? Yeah? So, kalau bank tu, bank statement, transaction lah bukan particulars. Yeah? Kalau dalam account sales ledger ni, Particulars or you can write detail. Yeah, depending lah. Yeah, details or particulars. And then you have the debit, credit, balance. Similar to the bank statement. Yeah. Cuma bank statement tak ada reference column. In account, yes. We have the reference column because this is for audit purposes. Yeah. So I just show you that lah. Ataupun reference ni kalau buku accounting yang lama they say it folio f o l i o folio folio ya yeah? folio reference ya yeah? so so the accounts ni lokman punya account so anything in the journal yang ada nama lokman Yeah. Any journal yang ada nama Lokman Biasanya yang ada nama Lokman dekat mana? Only two places Dekat mana? In the sales journal Ataupun sales return journal Itu je Ni tak payah nak cari dalam Cash receipt ke Cash payment journal ke Because why? Because ini Dia tak Uh, eh sorry sorry ada 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 sorry 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 ada tiga tempat ya yeah? yang ada nama Lokman so dalam sales journal bila jual kepada Lokman dan bila Lokman pulangkan balik barang dalam sales return and then the third book is dalam sales receipt journal ada juga nama Lokman sebab bila Lokman bayar, bayar to you, it's going to be in the receipt. Ya, yeah, cash receipt. So, ada tiga, tiga jenis. Itu je. Ya. Yeah. So, bila ada nama Lokman tu, that is going, going to be recorded here lah. Ya. Yeah. And then satu lagi kalau ada dalam general jenis. Kalau nama Lokman tu ada dalam general journal. Ya, yeah, kalau ada. Kalau ada lah. For example, like ada dishonored check. Lokman bayar dengan check. Tapi tu check tendang. So, kalau make payment and then it's going to be tendang. So, where is going to be recorded? In the general journal. Yeah, in the general journal. Lokman bayar to you business. Eh? Lokman bayar to you check. Where are you going to record that? Cash receipt journal. Betul tak? 
Sama ada pay by check or by cash. Cash receipt jenam. Yeah, so that's why you see in Lokman account ada bank, ada cash. Tapi let's say yang bank tu when you discovered later bank call you kata ini cek tendang. So what do you do? You have to reverse the entry. Yeah, you have to reverse the entry. So but that, that when the bank inform ini cek tendang. So this is another business transaction. So this business transaction will not be recorded in the special journal but will be recorded in the general journal. So general journal debit apa debit disconnect check debit disconnect check ke? Lokman, kalau Lokman bayar kredit Lokman's account ya yeah. so now uh, cek tu katakan tenda so to lock, Lokman's account is going to be debit Lokman's account so that's why you can see Lokman ni account dia debit kan this on that check debit so what does it mean? it means that kita kena acknowledge that sekarang ni Lokman masih lagi berhutang 20,000. Tadi sepatutnya dah settle betul tak? Dah settle, Lokman dah bayar 20,000 by check just now. So dah settle dah hutang dia for the previous purchases lah ya. Yeah? For the previous sales. That means kita consider Lokman dah bayar dah. Ya, yeah, dah settle yang sale kita jual kepada Lokman, Lokman dah settle. Ya, yeah. so 20,000 should be credited. Tapi sekarang cek tu tendang. So we have to increase back Lokman balance lah. Bermakna sekarang kita kata Lokman masih lagi hutang 20,000. Ignore lah the other transaction tu ignore. Ya, yeah. we just concentrate on yang the disconnect check. So, we say that Lokman masih lagi berhutang. Tak settle lagi yang RM20,000 tu. Tak settle. So, that's why we need to debit uh, 20000 to Lokman account. Tapi yang kreditnya adalah account this on check. So, kita buka this on net check. Ha, kita buka this on net check account dan kita akan record this on net check credit on the credit side. Okay, credit column, not debit column. Okay, yang baru join, we are discussing general, we are discussing ledger on page 51. Yeah, page 51. Okay. Right, so back to this one here. Uh, this is Lokman Seka and you can see the last balance to 22,500. What, that, what does that indicate? Itu de, itu adalah hutang semasa hutang semasa masa tu lah on the 30th May 2000 XX ya. Yeah? That Lokman O you who are you the business 22500. So here you can see that when you prepare this account, do you know how much balance Lokman owe you? Yes lah. Yes. Lepas tu kita ada siapa lagi tadi? Kita ada Musa. Lagi kita ada apa siapa lagi? Data. Data kalau ikut dalam senarai ini. Data dalam senarai ini depends on which one that you are looking at there. Yeah? Um, uh, kalau data dalam sini uh, kita ada kita ada kalau page 52 data uh, Sunny, Zaini, Fatin yeah? so these are the data yeah? tapi uh, so when you open Lokman account you know how much Lokman so kalau you ada account Sunny you know how much Sunny of you. Kalau you ada account Zaini, you know how much Zaini. Tapi do you know how much in total sales that you make? That's why you need to have the 
sales sales account yang ada fikir sales saja yeah and then the total of the data macam mana nak tahu total of data you are going to look at the account receivable control yeah accounts receivable control right now then similarly on page 52 you have the account purchase ledger account yeah purchase ledger account which is abdul hakim so who is this abdul hakim a creditor who's creditor your business creditor yeah your business creditor so you buy from hakim then you make payment yeah you make payment so and so then after that you can see that the amount that you still owe at on the 28 may is 38000 yeah all right on page 53 okay this is the cash book so if abdul hakim and lokman uh, abdul uh, lokman is sales ledger right so the posting is from the sales journal to sales ledger to the Luxman account lah sebab ini account Luxman. So ada juga Musa. Jadi the sales journal of Musa dan yang daripada semua yang ada nama Musa from the sales journal Musa it will be transferred to the Musa account uh, which is Musa is sales ledger account. Yeah. Okay what about the Abdul Hakim? Abdul Hakim is creditor. So be, so this may, mainly it will be from the purchase journal purchase journal to the purchase ledger purchase journal to purchase ledger so purchase ledger if we are opening the account of abdul hakim or we are considering the account of abdul hakim then in the purchase ledger we have the abdul hakim's account yeah then kalau katakan kita beli daripada creditor nama dia Abu lah, ya Abu. Abu creditor. So dalam journal purchase ledger, um, sorry purchase journal yang ada nama Abu, then that will be transferred opposed to the purchase ledger but under the account of Abu lah. Jangan pula transfer to Abdul Hakim sebab Abu orang lain. Ya. Yeah? So Abu that means to Abu's account. Ya, yeah? clear ya. Yeah? And then uh, anything from the journal that relates to Abu will be posted to ledger under the name of Abu. But to Abu account is only one entry. Then remember, the second entry would be to the other account lah. Yeah? Every transaction, remember, it has to be recorded twice. One is in the Abdul Hakim's account. The other one would be depending lah. Kalau Abdul Hakim tu kita bayar, that means second entry would be the cash account or the bank account yeah ataupun kita return and then it will be in the return outwards account return outwards account pun ada juga so return outwards ni is actually from the return outwards journal yeah so if let's say we we buy you buy from the uh, abdul hakim uh, you buy from abdul hakim then you return back uh, so you are going to record that in the return outwards journal so now you are going to post to the ledger so it's going to be to the ledger of return outwards account satu entry another account would be to abdul hakim account i hope that it's clear yeah and then on page 53 we have the cash book Remember, journal just now we have cash receipt journal and cash payment journal. So cash book is actually from the the cash receipt journal and cash payment journal post to the cash book. Cash book the ada uh, cash book ni saya tunjuk dalam bentuk t account sebenarnya, ya. Yeah? Tapi it can also be in the form of Kolom. So kalau kolom tu depending lah dia ada kena campur tolak campur tolak is like going to be like bank account. Yeah, it's going to be like bank account. So kalau duit masuk debit, 
cash book. Kalau duit masuk, credit cash book. Yeah, and there's going to be column one for cash, one for bank. So that you know at the bottom how much the balance that you have in cash and how much balance that relate to the amount at bank. So it's going to be similar to, going to be similar to, mana tadi? Uh, dia lebih kurang macam format of Lokman lah ataupun format of Abdul Hakim. Format dia ya, format dia. Cuma yang kolom tu dia ada one for cash in, cash out, cash in, debit, cash out, credit. And then satu lagi kolom. Satu lagi kolom. Bank, bank, in, debit, bank, out, credit. Yeah. So that's actually for the cash book. Yeah, for the cash book. Right. So um uh but usually the cash book is going to be separate lah. Yeah, one is for the cash, one is for the bank. Yeah. Mm. Anything to ask about this? About the ledger, about the journal ledger. Right there. Okay, next we move on to the trial balance. Okay, what is trial balance? Now, ledger, when we have the ledger, for example, like Abdul Hakim, we have the ending balance, 38,000. And then Lokman, Lokman uh, oh, to Abdul Hakim, ni Lokman, yeah? Biasanya Lokman Hakim kan? <laughs> okay. The two different names. Lokman, the ending balance is how much? 22,500. So this is ending balance. Every ledger must have the ending balance, the balance lah, yeah, at certain date, yeah, the date which is usually the last day of the month, yeah. So this are Abdul Hakim's account balance, Lokman accounts balance have to be transferred to trial balance. So if you look at the trial balance, the format of trial balance can be on page 54. Page 54. So page 54, can you see illustration 4.13 there? Yeah. So kalau you tengok ada tak nama Abdul Hakim dekat situ? So, biasanya kalau you buat daripada yang tadi account tu adalah So, you akan ada Abdul Hakim Okay, tak, dekat sini tak ada ya Tapi kalau kalau you buat Abdul Hakim dalam trial balance ada Nama Lokman pun ada So, kalau Lokman, you, you look at the trial balance format Ada nama account aja kan So, kalau tadi patutnya ada Okay, we are talking now about small business Yeah. So kalau small business, bawah tajuk account tu, bawah bawah account tu, you ada account Lokman. Then you ada Abdul Hakim. Yeah. Lokman Abdul Hakim. Then trial balance, remember format dia debit, credit saja. Dia ada debit, dia ada credit. Yeah. And bawah sekali, can you see the total there? One is the debit total and the other one is credit total. Okay, this total total figure, the debit total and the credit total has to be the same amount. Write note of that, yeah? It has to be the same figure. Cannot be different figure. What if there are, these two total are different? It means that, it means that you have made mistake. Okay, yeah, betul. It's wrong. That means ada error, ada mistake somewhere. So, in business, when they do this trial balance and they are not the same, it means that they have not correctly entered the transaction into the system. So, they have to find the error or the mistake and do the correction. Huh? Huh? They cannot prepare the accounts until this has been corrected. Yeah, until this has been corrected. So, so that is actually the purpose of the trial balance to check the total figure they are the same or not. Yeah. 
Okay, purpose of the trial balance. Okay, so back to Lokman and Abdul Hakim just now. So let's say we have Lokman. Lokman, you are going to record under debit column or credit column. Lokman is what? Debtor or cred creditor? Account receivable or accounts payable? Hurry up. Okay, Lokman, if you look at Lokman, Lokman is customer, betul tak? Ya, yeah, customer. Customer data. So, account receivable. So, look at account receivable. Debit tu kan? Debit. Go through, go down. Yeah, you can see account receivable, debit. So, for Lokman, you are going to write account receivable uh, dash Lokman, which is whatever the balance tadi lah. And then Abdul Hakim is accounts payable. Apa saya ya? Then it's going to be under the credit column. Clear ya, everybody? Uh, so, Lokman, accounts receivable, debit column, Abdul Hakim, supplier, accounts payable, credit. Kalau big company, account, uh, nama banyak kan, dia ada ramai lah, dia ada uh, kalau dia ada Lokman, uh, tadi siapa lagi? Uh, Lokman, Lokman, uh, kalau Lokman is account receivable lah, so dia ada Sunny, dia ada Zaini, dia ada Fatin, dia ada Abu, uh, katakan Abu lah ya, eh. dia ada uh, Wong, dia ada uh, Raju, dia ada Danish, dia ada Adam uh, So, kalau kalau you nak tulis tu berderek Jadi bermakna dia cuma ambil daripada control accounts receivable So, control accounts receivable tadi dia akan ambil jadi satu total So, again it will be debited lah For Abdul Hakim, Abdul Hakim is accounts payable okay. So, dia akan uh, cred, uh, the creditor or the supplier So business kalau big business dia ada banyak kan supplier dia beli pada ni dia beli pada tu dia beli ni 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 so not everybody will be shown in the trial balance lah they just only take one figure one figure and that is accounts payable the, the control account yeah the control account so here you can, you can imagine that the account receivable and the accounts payable this these are the control account But it can be for only individual. Satu je lah pun boleh juga. Clear ya everybody? Ya, yeah, okay. Kita boleh juga guna nama data ataupun kita boleh juga uh, letakkan kreditor. Ya. Yeah? So, selain pada kalau account receivable, kita boleh letak data. Accounts payable, kita boleh letak kreditor. Boleh ya. Yeah? Cuma account receivable, accounts payable, This is American term, debtor, creditor, uh, term yang diguna pakai oleh British, ya, yeah? British. British tu apa? England lah, ya, yeah? United Kingdom, ya. Yeah? Kalau European saya tak tahu. <laughs> European, biasanya European they follow the British, ya. Yeah? Alright. So that is for the chapter for any Anything that you would like to ask. Okay, there's a lot of information here that maybe you can go through them later, yeah? So, are there soalan? Any question to ask? Okay. Kalau tak ada, kita continue sikit lagi ya. Bukan sikit, kita continue sampai ni lah about 10, 10.35 like that ya. Sebab tadi pun mula dah lambat sikit ya, sikit je. Okay, boleh ya everybody can eh, follow? Okay, okay. Right, I would like to look at chapter 6. Chapter 5, kita tunggu dulu. Biar you faham dulu the journal. Sebab chapter 5 is about journal. Soalan biasanya keluar journal tu is on chapter 5. Okay. So ignore. Go back. I mean you later 
uh, absorb that person, they generate the ledger. Okay, now look, let's look at accounting error. What is accounting error? Error is like mistake. Yeah? So when you, when uh, the accountants or executive, accounting executive club record the transaction, they might make mistake. Yeah? Whether that be manually or whether that's going to be computerized, yeah? using the computer, the information technology to do the recording. Yeah? So the error can be due to many reasons, like mistake, ignorance, tak tahu nak buat macam mana, simply masuk aja, ataupun mistake due to the document, document tu, the figure dia memang dah salah. So you keep in the figure according to the document. But mistake lah because the document itself dah salah. Ha, paling senang, the document tu maybe has miswritten, mistype, mistyping the amount figure. Ataupun senang nak faham juga like you ada dokumen you buat kerja dekat office, I copy you tertumpah atas dokumen tu and then you lap 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 tengok tengok figure dia macam dah tak nampak dah. So oh you rasa ah, figure ni kot and then you keep in the wrong figure. Is that clear? So that is actually another mistake ya. Yeah? Or it could be that like yourself baru belajar, you tak tahu debit or credit. Ini debit ke ini credit? So you dah salah, you dah salah kod yang sepatutnya debit, you write debit, yang sepatutnya kredit Apa saya cakap tadi, yang sepatutnya debit, you kreditkan dan yang sepatutnya kredit, you debitkan So that means apa tu? Opposite, right? Opposite, uh, opposite entry So that is actually wrong, walaupun Walaupun dia sama tapi dah salah. Yang sepatut debit, kredit. Yang sepatut kredit, debitkan. Another mistake that you can make is that another mistake ya, yeah, that somebody has actually for some reason uh, purpose give you the wrong figure. So the document is being actually recorded at certain amount and that amount is wrong because simply the person would like to manipulate the accounts yeah? so bagi figure yang salah so when you kick in that figure is obviously wrong so that is another mistake lah yeah? we say mistake yeah? tapi that mistake is fraud yeah? fraud so just not purposely with intention yeah? purposely that means with intention so if let's say the mistake is made with intention that is considered fraud. Fraud is not accepted yeah, in accounting. Kalau error, okay, boleh lagi terima because this is actually ignorance, carelessness, eh, due to carelessness, due to fatigue, letih, eh, penat eh, dengan COVID ni duduk malam-malam, duduk buat masuk masuk transaction dalam dalam uh, sistem. Yeah. Right. So, these are the mistakes. So, before before uh, we need to prepare the account, you have to identify this mistake. How to identify one way is by preparing the trial balance just now. All right, everybody? Mm, the trial balance. So from the trial balance, you are able to identify the mistake yeah, because it's not balanced. But which one? Ha, itu susah sikit lah. Which one? Sebab dalam trial balance tadi, long list, betul tak? Okay, uh, what page just now? The trial balance, uh, page uh, 54. See, long this. Yeah, long, ini tak long lah. Ada lagi long, longer than this. Yeah? So you can see that when the, the total debit is not the same as the total credit, somewhere there are mistakes. So what do you do? Identify lah, kena tengok. Building ke yang salah? Equipment ke yang salah? Discount allow ke yang salah. So you have to check one by one tapi that will not be the proper way lah. So usually you go for the the item that you feel that yang you rasa macam tak sure tadi kan. Uh, yang you rasa you tak tahu debit ke credit ke ataupun that you feel that yang tadi I tertumpah maybe yang tu ke yang salah ya yeah? and so on ya. Yeah? So, so these are the mistakes, yeah? that means as 
Counting executive or clock or preparer, you have to identify that first. Okay? Right. So, so, okay, what are the name of the error that, that, uh, that we can uh, give yeah, to these errors? Yeah? Okay, I want you to refer to page 86. Sekejap je lagi, sekejap je lagi. Then after that, you can read this yourself here. Yeah? And we are done with error after that. Alright, so on page 86, can you see errors that affect the trial balance? So if the trial balance figure total just now, not the same, they're not equal. So what happened? It means that there are mistakes. So what are the names of the mistake? Number satu, omission of a part of entry. Bermakna, supposed to be every transaction record twice. Yeah, record twice, but you only record one. Surely trial balance will not balance, correct? Huh? Because you, you only record on the debit side and did not record on the credit side. So that is only one entry. Supposed to be two entry, but it could be vice versa. Lah, okay? And then error of transposition. Error of transposition. Remember, in the ledger, uh, this is uh, what's going to be recorded in the ledger will be posted from the journal. And the total balance, uh, the ending balance in the ledger account will be used to prepare the, will be used to prepare the trial balance. So when you have the transposition, uh, the amount that you post to the ledger, yeah, the amount you post to the ledger, maybe you know, uh, has error of transposition. What is error of transposition? Let's say. Ada satu transaction tu, satu satu balance tu, jumlah dia katakan, jumlah dia adalah satu, dua, satu, dua, one thousand, two hundred, forty-five ringgit. That is actually the correct balance, ya. Yeah? One thousand, two hundred and forty-five ringgit. So, kalau in terms of number, satu, dua, empat, lima. Ya, yeah? satu, dua, empat, lima. Okay, you make mistake, yeah, you make mistake when you record that in the ledger, you record, or somebody lah make mistake, record 1, 2, 5, 4. 1, 2, 5, 4. Okay, so you can see that the 5, 4 has be, is wrong, yeah, the position is wrong, it should be 4, 5. Not five four. Ya, you kata, eh takkanlah transaction ni satu dua empat lima. So, ataupun mungkin ngantuk ke, ya. Yeah? So, you record in the journal one two five four instead of one two four five. Yeah. So, that is what we say error of the transposition. Ya. Yeah? And the error is only made to one and three. Uh, maybe to the debit. But the credit side, betul. Uh, you record one, two, four, five. To the credit side. But to the debit side, one, two, five, four. So will it be balanced? Obviously no. Yeah. So that is error of transposition. Underline the word position. Position. The digit position is wrongly. Yeah. Tapi jum, uh, figure dia dalam tu, the digit tu semua sama. Dia bukannya, bukannya ada nombor tiga. Nombor tiga tak, dia tak ada kan? Uh, dia tak ada nombor tiga. Dia semua ada satu, dua, lima, satu, dua, empat, lima. Tiga ni je. Tapi dia tersalah digit. Position dia salah. It could be that dua, satu, empat, lima. Boleh juga. Position juga tu eh. That is error of position, eh? error of position or error of transposition. Okay, error in addition, error in addition. So when you calculate, when you calculate the trial balance tadi total debit or calculate debit balance there. And then you calculate the credit and you see the different. So maybe yang what you have done is you have made mistake in addition. Right? You tersalah kira tadi. Maybe when you key in Macam tadi lah siapa tadi? Amy eh? Amy tadi kan? 1985 right? Amy? 
ya. Yang ini dah keluar ke? Okay. Uh, that is what? Amy. That is error in error in subtraction lah. Tapi ini kita kata error of addition. Yes. So similar to just now juga. Yeah. When you use the calculator but when you keep in the calculator too, it's wrong figure. Okay. Error in the trial balance. Error in the trial balance is where you know um Error in the trial balance tu, it means that salah-salah lah and any than, uh, other than uh, the other three. Yeah? Other than the other three. That is the error in the trial balance. It can be anything but the error is made when taking the figure to the trial balance or it can be that anything lah related to the trial balance. Yeah? Okay, and then number five, next page, posting to the incorrect side of the account yeah so meaning that double entry we got so here posting to the incorrect side of the account ni macam dia boleh boleh jadi macam-macam ni eh. tapi what this this type of error means is that this type of error it means that okay remember the accounts you have to debit and you have to credit betul tak the ledger debit credit ya dah betul okay so when uh, the clerk just now post to the trial balance okay so satu dia dah debit betul debit the trial balance ya debit trial balance debit dah betul and then satu lagi sepatutnya kredit tapi dia debit juga so dua kali debit so will the trial balance balance definitely no okay so that is another another error yeah of that so these are the five types of error that relates to trial balance yeah where when you prepare the trial balance the trial balance total debit and the credit balance are not the same yeah so this is in general we see errors that affect the trial balance okay on page 87 a bit more yeah we have to line and to correction kita buat kemudian okay so the next uh, type main type of error is error not affecting the trial balance meaning that when you prepare the trial balance the debit side the, the debit balance katakan satu ratus ribu and then the credit side when total up is also one hundred thousand so debit total credit total they are the same so if that's the case we say that no error betul tak because the debit total credit total the same no error but but there are errors although that they are the same but there are errors so why why is that? The reason is because this error cannot be detected when preparing the trial balance. Yeah? Sekejap je ada announcement tengah jalan. Okay, never mind. Alright, okay. So that means the two balance here, the debit and the credit, they are they are the same. But but there are errors. Yeah. So the errors cannot be detected by the trial balance. Yeah. So that is what my meant by errors not affecting the trial balance. For example, like okay, yang tadi kita kata I copy tumpah jatuh serta invoice tadi. So sepatutnya figure dia dua ribu sahaja. Um, pat, patutnya, uh, sorry, 20,000 katakan, 20,000 dalam invoice tu 20,000 so you, I tertumpah so macam satu kosong tu terpadam, so you nampak 2,000 bukannya 20,000, so when you key in into the system, you key in only 2,000 and not 20,000 
So the debit betul, credit betul, accounts betul, semua betul. Tapi the, the amount figure is wrong. You keep in only 2,000 and not 20,000. So what happened? Debit 20,000, debit 2,000, credit 2,000. Balance ke tak? Balance lah. But is that a mistake? Yes. Because it should be 20,000. Debit 20,000 credit. Uh, so that is, that is the uh, first, first start of error. Yeah, first start of error. Error of original entry. Ataupun somebody tu dah manipulate. Eh? But patutnya 20,000 tapi orang tu tulis 2,000 saja. When key in 2,000 saja, I mean the document tu ditulis 2,000. Patutnya 20,000. Somebody has, somebody has actually uh, purposely lah did that. Yeah? So when you key in, you only key in 2,000. The double entry semua betul, account semua betul, but you key in the wrong figure. That is another example of error of original entry, number one there, ya. Yeah? Ataupun ada dokumen invoice, terlupa. Terlupa langsung nak masuk. That is error of commission, number six. Tak masuk lang langsung. No debit, no credit. The error of commission. And the rest two, uh, error of principle, I need to balik lah. Uh, ataupun you tak tahu Account asset, asset debit kan Satu lagi account apa yang debit Expense Expense pun debit, asset pun debit So katakan Ada transaction tu Sepatutnya asset, tapi you masukkan Dia sebagai expense So that is error of principle Error of commission Okay, kita ada Kita ada uh, Kita ada katakan uh, satu nama dia Uh, nama dia uh, Nadim ya yeah, Nadim customer ni customer ya yeah, katakan customer Nadim satu lagi customer nama dia Nadimah nah. ya yeah. so the transaction katakan with Nadim tapi uh, the bookkeeper just now masukkan dalam account Nadimah ya yeah. Bukan masuk dalam akaun Nadim, tapi masuk dalam akaun Nadimah. Ha, that is error of commission. Nadim dengan Nadimah siapa dia? Accounts receivable. Or debtor. Both are debtor. So, they are in the same class but wrong account. In that class, say, class the same tapi wrong account. That is error of commission. Or it could be sama juga lah happening to the accounts payable. Reversal, sepatutnya debit tulis kredit dan sepatutnya kredit masukkan dalam debit. That is error of reversal. Yeah? Compensating error is where make mistake somewhere tapi bila campur tolak, campur tolak, campur tolak dia jadi kosong, tak ada. Sama exactly dengan yang the opposite side of the trial balance. Ataupun yang sini buat mistake on the in the debit column ada mistake, on the credit balance pun ada mistake. So, so that is actually Uh, they compensate. That is compensating. I think that's all I would like to say uh, about the types of error. Go back and study this and remember this can be us. Yeah? Tapi dia akan tanya dalam bentuk scenario, situation. So you have to identify the error. Now after that you have to do the correction. Correction we will cover that later. Is that clear everybody? So I would like to stop here. Yeah. Um, ada apa lagi lah. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, assalamualaikum. Tapi jangan jangan lupa lagi ya. Saya nak ambil uh, ambil nama kejap. Um, saya lupa nak ambil nama tadi kejap ya. So, saya saya ambil nama sekejap. Amin. Uh, okay. Uh, Hemi Aina ni siapa? Hemi Aina siapa nama penuh? Hanif Hili Okay, okay Masya uh, Terima kasih.
Oh, Fawaz tadi dia keluar balik eh. Syuhada. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Yang 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay lah. Hmm. Yeah, so that's all. Thank you everybody. Yeah. All right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.